Good afternoon. Uh, this is Gio. I'm coming back to you with another one of uh, how to repair video brought to you by Quality Home Repair Services. Today we're working on this hair refrigerator here. And the complaint is that everything up top here in the fresh food section um, continuously um, getting frozen. Uh, this is the model number here. Hope you can see that. Okay, model number. This is a pretty new refrigerator. So, my assumption was that it's the damper assembly or, um, well, the one of one of the thermistors that's that's going bad defective on the unit. So let's take a look at the drawing here. All right, so the computer board is located in the back, and you could see here that on connector connector one, you have the damper assembly, and uh, blue to, to white. If you test that, you're supposed to get about uh, four, 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 four K ohms. Yellow to red, you're supposed to get about four K ohms. And you have the uh, freezer defrost uh, sensor, the freezer sensor, and the fresh food sensor uh, there. All of which I test and is, is all within specifications. I tested from the control board and back. And I was keep wondering, hey, what's going on with the damper assembly? Why is it not opening and closing like it, it's supposed to? So, I got a new damper assembly just in case and scheduled the job and came back. But what I found out after Got to twist that to the right a little bit and pull that out. It's connected to a little wire there. You will get that out. And then you have three screws. We'll remove this uh, air duct assembly panel. So what I found that was causing the issue was this yellow wire here. I kind of done stick it back into the mullet connector. But that was loose. Loose and, and out of the mullet connector. So that what was causing the issue that was causing the fresh food section in the refrigerator to, to keep freezing everything. The damper will not close. And that was the issue there. So I done got that repaired. I'm going to show you guys how to put this refrigerator into diagnostic mode and test the damper assembly. Just in case you guys run across this refrigerator, I'm pretty sure you guys will be running across this refrigerator at some point in the future. This will show you kind of how to go into diagnostic mode. And if your stuff is freezing in the fresh food section, pull that damper, that air duct assembly off and take a look at the mullet connector. Um, manufacturing defect, that, that wire was loose out of the connector there. All right. So, to get it into diagnostic mode, you could see, kind of say temp zone, temp set, and function button. It's, it's really hard to, to kind of see it on this, this unit here. All right, so to get into diagnostic mode, you want to hold the temp set and the, the function set button at the same time. But before you do that, you have to press, let me see, you have to press and make sure that, I can't get a good look at it, but you gotta press and make sure that that is illuminated. All right, and then temp set, function set, for about three seconds. All right. So T1, that's basically telling you that um, the damper should be open. 
Let me see here. That's that T1 continuous run mode. Um, the damper should be open in T1. T2 uh, damper should be uh, closed. All right. So that's all we're gonna we're gonna test and make sure. All right. So right now it's in T1. It looks like a R, but that's actually a T1. Okay. And just the damper here, the air duct assembly. And right now it's open, but we know that's it's working. In T2, it's supposed to close. So I come over here, it functions set, it go to T2, and it's supposed to start closing here in a second. see that you guys could see that so it did close now and let me just go back one more time and now it should be open and then I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together yep yeah, so this is a air refrigerator made by manufacturer uh, GE. If you guys have the same issue, find stuff that's uh, freezing in the upper section in the fresh food compartment. Uh, pull that air duct assembly off and check to make sure um, all the wires and everything is connected. That's the control board. Um, got a flashing LED light that is all normal. If you notice the light is not flashing, you may have a control board issue. And this refrigerator is running off R134A. All right, thanks for joining us and stay tuned for the next one. Please like, share, and subscribe. Drop any comments uh, down below as well. Love to get you guys' feedback. All right.